watching, give me a big thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up this video. Especially if you are watching for the second, third, or fourth time, give me a thumbs up. If you are here and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free and it definitely helps your girl um, get her content out there. And then after you hit subscribe, definitely don't be shy. Hit that notification bell da -ding, and notify yourself of my videos when I upload. I plan on uploading every Monday, Wednesday and Friday if time permits. So guys, this video is my initial thoughts on getting braces as an adult. So guys, voila, I got braces last week and really and truly, the first thing that I was thinking after I got them put on was how am I going to eat the things that I want to eat? I left the orthodontist thinking I would be able to eat as normal and I ordered a taco and I tried to bite into it and I was like, oh, this doesn't work the same way. So that was the first thing that I was just like, wow, I can't eat the way I want to eat. Uh huh. -huh. Welcome reality check the second thing is i know that a lot of adults are subconscious about getting braces as adults because they see it as this tacky thing that they should have done when they were younger but truth be told this is my second time in traditional braces i got braces when i was 12 years old because my teeth are too small for my mouth so they have a tendency to space out and because of that, they spaced out when I became an adult and had children. And then I went the route of Smile Direct and that did not work for me. And then last year I just decided, hey, I'm gonna do it the traditional way again. And who cares if I'm an adult? Who cares if I'm in my 30s? I'm getting braces. So that's the first thing I really wanted to say. If you're an adult and you're considering getting braces, do what's, do what works best for you, whether that's traditional braces or Invisalign or some form of Invisalign in a liner system, do what works best for you. No one is going to say anything about it. No one is really going to make a big deal about it. It's simply just braces. Um, my initial um, my initial thought was like, man, I really did this and it's an investment. So that's another thing. A lot of people didn't get braces when they were younger because their family members could not afford it. It is expensive, guys. My braces cost me $6,800 with a discount. And that was wow to me to even think about it. But I knew that my smile was something that I really wanted to fix and fine tune. So I went ahead and I decided braces it is. So that's the first thing, like, you know, it costs, right? And it's an investment. And I think the best thing you can do as an adult is to go to an orthodontist, have a consultation, which is usually free and see what would work best for you. So I am gonna stop this part of the video now and combine the rest and I hope it makes sense. But this is my initial reaction. I got braces, so what? I think they look amazing. I think that they fit me. They make me look super retro and cool. And I know that at the end of this process, I will have the smile that I want and that's all that matters. So I'm gonna scoop up. I'm gonna scoot up so you guys can see me up close with my braces and then yeah. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, you can feel free to add them. But guys, this is my teeth. So guys, this is the teeth, the sun races. And I'm gonna combine the video here, so bye. Okay guys, so my battery died on the camera. So long story short, there are various options that you can consider when you are getting braces put in. The one thing to consider is what type of person you are. If you are a person that can brush your teeth and stay on putting your aligners in, taking them off, and keeping your oral hygiene intact, like not eating with your aligners, not drinking anything outside of water, then you may be able to go with the Avisalign option. If you are someone who just wants to have them put on and somebody else thinks about it, um, then maybe you need to go with traditional braces. If you are an adult, trust me, no one is checking for your braces. I have had braces for a week. One, we're wearing masks still, so it's a pandemic. But two, when I don't have my mask on, no one is really saying like, oh my, you got braces, like you got braces, you got braces. Like no one is really saying that, like literally no one has even mentioned the fact that I have 
braces you know do they see do they notice i mean if they have eyes they can see um if you're not dead in my face you probably won't see the little wires but i do believe that people are seeing that i have braces like especially if people that has been around people that have been around me like frequently and then i went from no braces to braces they are noticing but no one is saying anything when is the perfect time to get braces honestly speaking if you are an adult and you want braces you're not too old you are not too old as you guys know i turned 33 last week and i'm going to have my braces on from anywhere from 14 to 18 months that means that i am either going to be 34 or 35 potentially with braces on you're never too old. When I asked my ortho, he was like, listen, I've had people in their 60s put on braces. It's a choice. It's a choice that you want to make. If you don't like your smile, you want to fix it and you can afford it, then get you some braces. Like literally, you have one life to live and who's going to check you? Nobody. Um, so it's been a week. The one thing I can say is that I am considering getting a new toothbrush. I currently use the Quip um, smart toothbrush but I feel like it's too big and it's not getting up and under and through my braces the way that I want them to get through my braces so I am going to the dentist today like I mentioned and I am going to ask them what do they suggest like what do they suggest for me to utilize so that I can get the best cleaning of these bad boys um dry mouth is a thing I am brushing two times a day but I'm also rinsing a lot so I am looking into some lozenges just to keep my mouth nice and moist um another thing you have to learn how to floss with braces i am using something called string floss um, and i'll put a picture up here so you guys can see of the toothbrush that i'm using the string floss that i'm using and then the interdental little toothbrushes that i am using because i'm not going to get up and go get them for you guys but those are the things that i'm using to maintain my braces um my braces will get um checked and tightened once a month every four weeks and um i don't predict or see me using rubber bands elastics or a power chain but i do know that some people have to utilize that in their treatment plan but based on what they are doing it's been a week and the reason why i was like let me do this update video is because my smile is changing daily like literally i was looking at myself yesterday and I was like, damn, my big, t my front tooth is really big, but I think that it's always been that size. It's just getting, uh, getting aligned where it needs to be. And now I can see how big it is. So, um, yeah, there are changes and I really wanted to come and do this really quickly. Um, another thing to consider if you are an adult and you are getting braces, um, consider what you're going to eat. Like literally the things that I love to eat. I don't know how I'm going to eat them. I don't know if it's because it's the first week and my teeth are still like adjusting. But I tried to eat a taco the other day and it was a flop. Like literally I was cutting it with a knife and eating it. The one thing that I do want to recommend that if you are getting braces or you are about to get your braces put on or you are in the process and you are about to get your braces tightened, just plan for a week of soft foods, whether that's ice cream, soups, um, noodles that are really fine things that you can eat without really chewing because your teeth is going to be sensitive your mouth is going to feel crazy um i also can put the toothpaste that i am using in the mouthwash that i'm using as well i am using a mouthwash that is specific for braces wearers i was going to swap my toothpaste as well but I really love my um I really love my toothpaste that I currently use. I use the um Arm and ha Arm Arm and Hammer Advanced Whitening toothpaste and I also use their periodontal toothpaste. I've never had periodontal disease, but growing up that's what we did. I used the advanced whitening in the morning and the periodontal at night. And I still do that as an adult, but I was considering changing to like a braces um toothpaste but i haven't found one that has like a whitening agent and if you know one let me know because i got to keep these bad boys pearly whites that's another thing that you have to consider with braces is what you're eating and if they can stain especially if you get the aesthetically pleasing braces because these clear or ceramic braces based on what you get can stain very easily so if you love coffee you need to consider that if you love things that like 
kool-aid or things that are red things that will leave a color on your tongue they might leave a color on your braces and that's something that you need to consider as well um there are various braces like i said there's braces that are self um lat um self-closing and there are other braces that you have to put little elastics on so my top braces are self-closing and my bottom braces i have to put the um little elastics on i believe yeah something like that or no i don't think i have elastics but i will verify at my next appointment because at this appointment i didn't get any elastics so i don't know if i'm gonna have them um but yeah that's how much they cost and they're an investment but they're an investment into yourself into your look and honestly a lot of people who have like spaced out teeth or have like an overbite or overbite or underbite or crowding especially as an adult and as a professional you start to find yourself a little subconscious about that and you want to know like what you can do i am a social work student but i also have a internship in a very professional setting at the National Association of Social Work and no one has even noticed that I have braces on in any of my meetings and I'd be up in the Zoom like this, say something. Um, I do believe that braces is something that you can put on as an adult if that's what you wanna do. Um, it's all about how you feel and how you swag it out. So guys, this video is getting pretty long so I just wanted to give you a one week update. I am loving it. I am loving it, I am loving it, and I can't wait to take you on this journey with me. If there's anything else in specific you want to know about adult braces, ask, and I will do my best to answer it via the comment section, or I will do a video. My plan is to do a every three month braces update. So this is the initial update. So the next video will be coming to you guys probably in May about where I am in my journey, how it's going, what I have learned, what I didn't learn, what is what I'm changing, what is working. So currently the things that I have been doing prior to braces is still working with the exception of wanting to, wanting to change my handy dandy toothbrush. So until next time, peace.